Tonight, a somber new milestone in the fight against coronavirus. 800,000 people have now died in the United States in the nearly two years we've been experiencing this pandemic. The United States has the most reported deaths of any country. This announcement comes a year to the day since the coronavirus vaccine started to be distributed here in the United States. Since then, more than 485 million doses have been given out in the United States alone. Here in Indiana, more than 3.5 million people are now fully vaccinated. This time last year, there was a lot of hope across the country. After a year of the pandemic, the vaccine was a major step toward ending it. But tonight, as cases and hospitalizations keep rising and questions are raised about the new Omicron variant, we're asking state leaders and health officials what needs to be done next. Fox 59's Eric Graves spoke with Governor Holcomb and health officials about where things stand. Eric, what are they telling you? One year, more than 8 million doses given out in Indiana and just more than half the population fully vaccinated. But hospitals are still struggling and worried the worst COVID surge could still be ahead. Inside of the building, we are prepared for what could be our worst COVID surge to date. Kristen Kelly is a nursing director of infection prevention at IU Health. She, like so many others, saw the first vaccine rolling out a year ago as the turning point in the pandemic. A year later, we are sitting here getting ready to head into what I think is our fourth surge in the hospital. For the first time since December of 2020, more than 3,000 Hoosiers are in the hospital with COVID-19. Kelly says this next month could be extremely concerning. It may be some of the highest rates of spread that we have seen in the two years in this pandemic. Tuesday afternoon, we asked Governor Eric Holcomb about his concern with the current surge. He says his mission is to try and encourage people getting vaccinated is the right choice. We see who ends up in the hospital, we see who ends up in the ICU, and we see, even worse than that, folks who prematurely pass. Sean Granis, the VP of Data and Analytics at Regan Street Institute, says about 80% of new cases are people who are not vaccinated. We're still seeing good news about the vaccine and that that booster shot gives us uh, what looks like to be about five times the protection. Kelly says they are preparing inside the hospital and hoping those outside are as well. And I think it's very important to not to scare people, but to, to warn them so that they can take you know, appropriate actions and, and keep safe. Governor Holcomb says they'll continue to offer National Guardsmen to help hospitals who call on them. And if this recedes, if this, you know, starts to scale back, we'll be, we'll have, we'll scale back, but not until then. As we head into year three of the COVID-19 pandemic worldwide, Granis says the future of COVID could be similar to what we see with the flu every year. That depends on both the virus and humans. In the newsroom, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. All right.